newly crowned IBF featherweight champion Luis Alberto Lopez has stated that he will not give a rematch to former champion Josh Warrington whom he won the title from on my birthday December 10th 2022 Alberto's reasoning for not even entertaining Warrington in a rematch is very interesting and we're going to talk about it in this video once we get down to what's been said and why it'll make you think a little bit and you know something with the climate of boxing today I can't say that I blame him more power to him let's talk about it Boxing is a funny sport, but that's not funny as in ha-ha, but it could be funny as in gotcha, because in the case of Luis Alberto Lopez, Josh Warrington thought he would play the game of gotcha. But Warrington ended up getting got. On December 10th, 2022, from Leeds, England, Warrington's hometown, Luis Alberto Lopez took away Warrington's IBF title in a closely judged match that saw judges give Alberto Lopez the decision over Warrington unexpectedly. Now that's not to say that Lopez didn't win the fight. It's just that with all of the corruption, improper judging, cheating, all types of unbalance in the sport of boxing today, they got it right. So, Lopez says he will not give Warrington a rematch. And his reason for stating so, he's a man standing on merit. What merit, you may ask? As a champion, Lopez is stating that Warrington has angered him because of the dirty way Warrington fought with his repeated accidental headbutting and throwing rabbit punches and punching to the legs without being penalized by referee Bob Williams. 
That's right. The same thing that Warrington has been getting away with time after time after time that resulted in the conclusion of his fight that was a rematch against Mauricio Lara. Repeated headbutts, intentional spearing with the head, rabbit punching, all of the above that stopped the Lara bout on cuts and allowed he to get his title back from Lara who had knocked him out in their previous fight. He thought he would impose these same tactics and be successful against Lopez who was all but unprepared for these tactics. After the fight, Lopez revealed that he had had an argument with Warrington's promoter, Eddie Hearn, who shockingly felt that he should have been penalized for excessive clinching. Do tell. Lopez felt that it was pretty rich of Hearn, given all of the fouling that Warrington had done in the fight for him to bellyache about Josh not being given a point. Wow. You see, now understand that English is not Luis Alberto Lopez's first language. The Mexican native expressed his sentiments to Hearn directly because they were looking for any help that they could get not on Warrington's championship so-called championship experience and capability but from judges promoters referees Lopez who is a very unorthodox fighter managed to pepper Josh with shots from various angles that were very unorthodox but scoring nonetheless telling blows that if Warrington had not implemented the high guard that he used not the type of high guard to walk someone down but a high guard to protect his head and chin Lopez would have knocked him as they say in England spark out so he was able to stay on his feet but I'll be damned if he wasn't hurt many times through this bout with excruciating body shots from Lopez left hooks right under the bread basket punches like uppercuts that were reminiscent of things that you would see from Prince Nassim he did these things and Warrington had no answers because one, he doesn't box very well. Two, he doesn't have very much power himself with only eight knockouts and 30 plus fights. So that assistance that he sought externally was being heavily re relied upon. The scorecards were 115 to 113. 115 to 113 and 114 to 114. Hearn said that Warrington could have been given the win by a 115 to 113 score. No, I would. I would never. He is a dirty fighter. Lopez said he doesn't deserve to be in pro boxing. This was being said about Josh Warrington. There is not a rematch clause, Lopez said. It's an honor to show the British that Mexico rules in boxing. <laughs> Hearn said that his next move is to match Warrington against the winner of Lee Wood and Mauricio Lara. Those two are expected to battle at the city ground in Nottingham, England. I watched it again and I was angry, said Lopez, about his fight with Warrington. I saw Warrington punching me in the legs 
And in his corner, he said he would keep doing that. Lara already knocked out Warrington last year and was severely cut in their rematch in a fight that many boxing fans believe Josh intentionally fouled to keep from being knocked out for a second time by the powerful Mexican fighter. I had said the same thing. I had an argument with Eddie Hearn and he was telling me that I should have been deducted a point because I was clenching too much, said Lopez. With his deep pockets, Hearn can easily entice Lopez to take the rematch with Warrington if he threw enough wads of cash at him. But it's doubtful he'll do that because the chances are Josh will lose again. Hearn should hope that Wood gets lucky against Lara so that he can then match Warrington against him. If the younger, stronger, and more talented Lara beats Wood, it will be a waste of time for Hearn to match the powerful Mexican fighter against Warrington in a trilogy. But this is the thing. Hearn, who makes these matches, is a horrible matchmaker. This is one of the reasons that he has made tons of rematches for the fights that he promotes. His fighters often lose. And they lose because of poor matchmaking. Not because they're poor fighters. It's just that Hearn doesn't really survey the landscape as he should, being a boxing promoter. Lara is too strong for Warrington, and he'd make the Leeds native look bad if he repeatedly rams heads with him as we saw in their second fight. Think about it. If there's going to be another fight, it really should be with Warrington and Lara. But he got away with it once against Lara. If the fight's going to be held in England again, the cards will be heavily stacked against Lara. That is, if Lara defeats Lee Wood. But the conundrum is this. An, an intense rivalry is developing between England and Mexico in the sport of boxing. And what do we know as we look forward to changes in the sport of boxing, we're starting to see a shift in the powers at the top of the sport. It doesn't really matter the division. What we're seeing is certain fighters taking on the task of against all odds. And you know, when you're going to the UK, the deck is heavily stacked in their fighters' favor. So, Salute to Luis Alberto Lopez, the IBF featherweight champion of the world. Information courtesy of Boxing News 24, an article released just a little earlier today. Link in the description box. This is Stormy B-Man. What do you think about this? Shout out to the mighty LDBC and liberated perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Should Josh Warrington get another shot right away? Or should he have to walk the plank? I think the latter, because cheaters never win, huh? Yeah. Peace to everyone out there and everyone please remain safe.